Everywhere we look in nature, fungi are working. They are decomposing fallen trees, returning nutrients to the soil, and silently shaping the balance of ecosystems. For centuries, we have thought of fungi as agents of decay symbols of rot and ruin. But science is now rewriting that story. What if the same biological processes that break down wood could be used to build the future of clean energy? What if fungal decay was not the end of the story, but the beginning of a new chapter in sustainability? This is precisely the vision behind a remarkable piece of research conducted by scientists at EMPA and ETH Zurich. They did not look to wires or silicon or rare earth metals. Instead, they looked at mushrooms. More specifically, they turned to a quiet, unassuming wood-degrading fungus known as Ganoderma aplanatum. This fungus is known for its ability to perform a very special kind of decomposition. It selectively consumes two of the toughest components of wood lignin and hemicellulose, leaving behind the cellulose scaffold. In other words, it weakens the wood's rigidity, but keeps its structure intact. At first glance, that might sound like sabotage, but the researchers saw an opportunity. Because when wood is rigid, it resists deformation, and that means it does not generate much electricity when you step on it. But if you could make the wood soft and compressible, just enough to flex under a footstep, you could amplify its natural piezoelectric properties, the ability to convert mechanical stress into an electric charge. So they began a biological experiment. They took blocks of balsa wood chosen for its naturally low density and uniform structure and inoculated them with Ganoderma aplanatum. Then they waited. For six weeks, the fungus quietly digested the wood's lignin and hemicellulose. The transformation was not dramatic. To the eye, the wood still looked like wood. But on the inside, everything had changed. The wood had lost about 45% of its mass. It had become porous, sponge-like, able to compress under pressure. And this is where the fungi revealed their true power, not just to decompose but to create new function. The decayed wood was now far more responsive to pressure. When compressed, it produced more than 50 times the electrical output of untreated wood. That's not a small improvement. It is a biological upgrade array engineering of a natural material using a living organism as the tool. In essence, the fungi had unlocked the wood's hidden potential. They had edited its mechanical properties without chemicals, without machines, without pollution. Just growth. Controlled, precise, purposeful fungal growth. And this growth had a purpose. The researchers were not content with lab data. They built something with their fungus-modified wood. A small wooden floor made of nine fungal-treated blocks. When someone stepped on the floor, pressure caused the wood to flex, and in that flexing, it generated enough electricity to light an LED. No wires. No batteries. Just feet on wood would soften by decay. It's a startling vision of the future. Materials modified not in factories, but in bioreactors where fungi do the work. Fungi that were once considered pests become collaborators in the quest for sustainable energy. The process itself is as elegant as it is radical. The fungal treatment is self-limiting and targeted. It doesn't require any synthetic additives. It doesn't produce toxic waste. It simply uses time, biology, and a deep understanding of the symbiosis between organisms and materials. What's even more compelling is the simplicity of the setup. Fungi like Ganoderma aplanatum aren't exotic. They're found in forests around the world. Their biology is well studied, and their growth can be controlled with relative ease. This means that the fungal treatment could, in theory, be scaled up without the need for costly or proprietary systems. Imagine wood products being grown in fungal chambers to achieve new mechanical and electrical properties furniture, flooring, or even walls that not only support your body, 
that support the grid. The implications stretch far beyond this single prototype. The approach of using fungi to modify materials is part of a growing movement called biofabrication. It's about moving away from petrochemicals and harsh industrial processes, and instead using life itself cells, enzymes, and microbes to build. In this case, the fungus doesn't just degrade it refines. It engineers. But make no mistake, this is engineering on a microscopic scale. The fungi aren't just eating, they're sculpting. They're opening up pores, reducing stiffness, making the wood more flexible, but not destroying it. That level of control is what makes this research so revolutionary. It's not just about letting nature take over. It's about understanding nature well enough to guide it to use biological decay as a design tool. It also changes our perception of fungi. In popular culture, we often think of mushrooms as mysterious or even dangerous. Yet here they are, playing a role in a clean energy future. Not through magic, but through cellular precision. Through mycelial logic. Through millions of years of evolutionary adaptation now being tapped by human ingenuity. There is still work to be done. The electrical output, while significant compared to untreated wood, is not yet at the level needed for powering high-demand devices. Researchers will need to explore how to optimize fungal growth, how to control the degree of decay, and how to integrate the material into existing building practices. There will be questions about lifespan, about environmental exposure, and about durability under repeated stress. But none of that changes the core truth. This research marks a paradigm shift. It shows that biological processes long associated with degradation can be reframed as creative, constructive forces. That fungi, some of the oldest, most resilient organisms on Earth, can be enlisted not just to recycle, but to reinvent. So next time you see a patch of fungal growth on a rotting log, consider this. That same process, refined and focused, could one day power your home. It could be beneath your feet, silently turning your movements into light. It could be in your walls, humming with a low current of electricity generated by the slow memory of biological transformation. The fungus, once feared as a destroyer of wood, may turn out to be its most valuable partner. And in doing so, it may help illuminate a path to a more sustainable, bio-integrated world. Not by opposing decay, but by learning to use it.